Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, MP here. Um, just wanted to show you uh, something new that I came across that I've recently um, implemented into my workflow, and that is Chrome Remote Debugging. Um, so in VS Code, uh, you can uh, install an extension. It's called Chrome Remote Debug. Let me just search for it real quick here. So technically it's called Debugger for Chrome. Um, and if you install it, uh, it'll give you the opportunity to set up some remote debugging so that you can get all of the output from your uh, Chrome debugger right in your VS Code, uh, which is pretty handy. Um, so let me show you what I have done. Um, you, sh you might have a folder that's called .VS Code. Um, if you don't, you need to put that in your project. Uh, and inside of that folder, you, should, you could have a launch.json um, file. And this defines a couple different debugging um, processes that, um, that you can set up. So I have had one for my Electron app here, which is debug on main process. Um, and then I also put one for debug demo. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to um, just start a static server, uh, or um, an internal server, rather. Um, and I'm using Polymer for that. And I'm pointing it to uh, the, um, the website that I want to, or the file that I want to debug. Um, so once you have that installed, um, to, um, to sort of integrate it even further um, into your workflow uh, with VS Code, um, you can um, start this whole process, get everything going with an NPM script. Um, VS Code will read your NPM scripts or your package.json, get a list of all the scripts that it has access to and make it so that you can um, uh, uh, execute these, uh, these scripts. Um, and VS Code calls them tasks. So I've added a script that's called debug-demo um, and what that does is it CDs into my uh, Polymer application here, and it runs Polymer serve. Um, and so, your whole process, if you have it all set up correctly, might look like the following. So I have this demo folder inside of my app, and inside of that I'm working on this hacks app project UI. Um, and it's pulling in this script file, so I'm working in this file here. Um, the first thing I would do is I would do uh, Command Shift P to bring up my um, I forget what this thing's called, but the your little quick tasks bar uh, to execute some commands. And as you can see here, uh, since I've searched for it recently, you have access to something that's called tasks, and you can run tasks. So we'll click Run Task. It'll ask us what task task would we like to run. Um, we can search for um, tasks. Uh, and in this case, we want to run debug demo. And really, the only thing that it's doing, and we'll click continue without scanning task output. Um, the only thing that it's doing is just um, as if I would open up my terminal and run npm run debug dash demo. Um, but it makes it a little bit um, quicker, more intuitive. So now that we have uh, uh, that internal server running, we can now start our debugger. So we'll go over to um, the left toolbar and we'll click run debugger. And that pops open uh, an additional Chrome uh, instance and as you can see it points it to your demo here, uh, or your internal web server. So we'll click on our project here and so we have some stuff happening. And if I click around, um, I should be triggering some events. So if I hit Option Command J, you should see like back clicked. So it's logging those. Um, and if I refresh and hit Generate Outline, you can see that that is the ring event. Um, and that's because I'm capturing those events here. So traditionally, you'd be working um, exclusively in this uh, debugger window right here. However, now that we have the remote debugger set up, 
we should also be seeing those in our debug console right here. So the benefit of this is that you should be able to, let's say that we wanted to console log this project object here. We'll refresh the page and now instead of having to go into um, our Chrome debugger here, we should have the output of that in here so it makes it a little bit nicer. So that's pretty convenient. So for instance, if I were to um, console logging these uh, back clicks. So if I click those a few times, you should see black back click and it'll give you access to, um, you can't click on these, I don't think. Um, so that's uh, one downside. So that is uh, Chrome Remote Debugging. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Hope that helps. Later.